the Federal Reserve is the branch governorship management system of the New World Order. It is the head of the snake. These are the people that have stolen tens of trillions of taxpayer money. This is the criminal group that got rid of the Glass-Steagall law and allowed the mega banks to issue trillions of dollars of Ponzi scheme fake paper. These are the people worldwide that want your pension funds that you've paid into. These are the people that want to create VAT taxes and sales taxes to pay off their black hole of debts. Break the conditioning. Occupy the Dallas Federal Reserve. It will be a focal point across the nation and the world. Spread the word and tell everyone you know, even if you can't be there, or even if you don't live near Texas, that they need to be part of the real movement against financial tyranny and the movement that can restore our republic. We threw off the British in 1776. Resistance is victory, and we will throw off the banksters in 2011. This is the beginning of the second American revolution, but this time it's gonna spread worldwide against the banksters and their globalist system. We are going to occupy the occupiers. My friends, a great choice lies before you. Revolution is in the air. The spirit of 1776 is being reborn in our republic. But the collectivists, George Soros, the Obamanoids, the neocons, are attempting to steer and manage the Occupy Wall Street movement. We've seen Michael Moore come out and say that capitalism and free market and private property is the threat. No, my friends, it is the monopoly capitalist, the organized crime syndicate, the six big mega banks, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo and others that own the private Federal Reserve that hijacked this country 98 years ago in 1913. That is the enemy. And it's time for these masqueraders to be exposed. Just a decade ago, most Americans didn't know the Federal Reserve was private. Now polls show the vast majority do and want it audited and abolished. We are marching on the illegitimate financial oligarchs that seized this country and are now attempting to fully bankrupt the United States and Europe and establish a open financial dictatorship worldwide. That's why I'm calling for an Occupy the Private Federal Reserve movement in all 50 states at all 12 of their major locations. One of the most influential branches in the country, arguably the second or third most powerful next to the New York Fed, is the Federal Reserve Branch Bank in Dallas. I will be there from five o'clock until at least eight o'clock this coming Friday, demonstrating and pointing out the true enemy. The Occupy Wall Street groups in North Texas have told us they're going to be there. The local in the Fed group that we demonstrated with in 2008 will be there as well. I will then travel Saturday to Houston to speak at the Federal Reserve Branch Bank in Houston, a satellite of the Dallas Fed, at high noon. Then Sunday, I will speak from 10 a.m. to 12 noon at the San Antonio branch of the Dallas Fed mothership system. The controlled corporate media is attempting to paint the Occupy Wall Street group as a bunch of communists and socialists and Obama supporters. And the media is giving attention to it, but only so they can co-opt it. The people on the ground are good and understand the Federal Reserve is the central organization empowering this world government system. This is a revolt against banker occupation. It is vital, if you are tired of these tyrants seizing control of our republic, that you travel to the Dallas Fed and that you demonstrate there and that you occupy it. This will draw attention, even if you stay there a few days and then others from around the country will rally to that point and others following your example will begin to occupy federal reserve locations around the nation. We are going to be peaceful, but we are going to encircle this criminal mafia organization's headquarters in Dallas and other areas around the country. Then I plan on sending reporters and yes, myself, back to the Dallas Fed if the occupation and encirclement is successful, which I know it will be. The destiny of this republic is up to you. 
this is your mission to end the Fed and restore the Republic if you choose to accept it. I know many of you will be there, but I hope that others watching this now will not falter, will not waver, will not sit idly by. Do not run up the white flag of surrender to the globalist. Here at our finest hour, as humanity awakens from their trance to this tyranny, join me and occupy one of the key Federal Reserve sites in Dallas, Texas, this Friday throughout the weekend. Others will join us. We are setting brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. Be part of history. We will identify the plague. We will identify the traitors. We will identify the enemy, the real target, the private Federal Reserve, and we will restore the Republic by ending the Fed and transferring the power of the purse back to the Congress and back to the people. Join me this Friday, October 7th in Dallas, Texas. You have no excuse. It's your choice, freedom or slavery.